Hey guys, have you ever wanted to make a chatbot of your own which could reply to many of your com commands? Let's take a very such example of the chatbot I've made over here. So it says hi there, I'm chatbot. Now let's input hi. It says hi there. Now let's input what can you do. He says I'm sorry I don't understand because we haven't dotted the command yet. Now let's say what do you eat? He says, I am a robot, so I eat metal and drink oil. Now, let me command or input something really random, so like just anything. He says, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Now, this program keeps on going and your chatbot keeps talking to you until you say bye. As you can see, my program is terminated. Now, let's learn how to make it. As you can see, I have my chatterbot code right over here. Let me select everything and now let's begin. So first we need to import the utility package. So import java.util.star semicolon. Now let's go and name give a class name. I'm gonna name it chatterbot. You can name it anything you like. Now public static void min you can also use the public void min since this is the blue j ide if you're using any other ide you need to use this line of command now i'm gonna create a scanner class so it's called scanner sc equals new scanner system dot in like that so now we have our scanner class ready. Now the biggest and the main thing of our program of the chatterbot is the very first variable is a boolean variable. So boolean I'm naming it running is equal to true. Now I'm going to take another variable called string input. You will very soon get to know why I have taken the string input. Now I'm going to use a while loop. So while and now let's give in the conditions so while running is equal to true so now my loop is ready and whatever i'm going to put inside is going to run as long as my running is true so now what i'm going to do is take input from the user so system dot out dot print ln over here i'm using a space and not any line of text to display to the user because if you input if you display let's say um, enter a message so it's gonna enter it's gonna display an output enter a message every single time you're gonna take you're gonna input something to it and that's gonna be annoying so what I'm gonna do is just leave a space now se dot next line and just for the sake of doing this Let's use system dot out dot print and then to make our program look good. Hey there, I'm chat bot. Right now, we have our input from the user over here, and this keeps on running because our running value is true. So we keep on giving the input to the user. Now, what I'm going to do is create an if else loop. So my first condition is if input now what we know is that the most popular way of using the if else loop is that you use this so if input is equal to let's say hi but this method when you compile it it's it says classes compiled and there are no syntax errors but no you will find many you this will not run properly it's going to basically it's going to output the default statement and since we don't have a default statement which is the else so it's going to display nothing so here's how you can take the input for a text i'll show you in just a second so it's input dot equals hi right so this is now this is the line of code that's going to take in the string input and it's going to compare it so 
you can see class compile and there are no syntax errors if you still want to try the input equals to equals to double quotations high you can try it out to save time I'm not gonna show it today so now I'm gonna type system dot out dot print hi there alright there we go and now I'm gonna make, make an if else loop I mean else if loop else if input dot equals by so I'm gonna open my curly brackets right there and now system s capital system dot out dot print ln by so let's come down and now this is what I'm gonna do when you input by the program must be terminated to make sure all you have to do is make your running value equal to false and now let's compile it so now we have two statements reply so now let's make an else and then start so let's take system dot out dot print ln sorry I don't understand close it and as you can see my program is running full well there are no errors so now let's start our chatterbot so it says hey there I'm chatbot so let's type hi and let's type hi again now let's type something random it says I don't know I don't know now let's type hi again and now let's type hi you can see the program is terminated and now let's add some more else of loops so else if let's say input dot equals uh, what does you eat and close it and put our curly brackets on now we're gonna print system dot out dot print ln I'm a robot so I eat metal and drink oil right there we go so now we have an answer to three commands and actually an answer to any command but then the default doesn't really count so if you have an answer to three three different inputs and the same way you can add many more types of commands like what can you do you can add a very random game into it which I will surely upload in my next video and this is how you can create your very own chatbot this chatbot you can use it for fun you can use it you can show it to your friends and many more things you can use it as a project and just so many more things this is gonna be a really fun project I hope you like the video please subscribe to my channel like the video share the video and also comment down below if you had any problems or if you need any help in making your very own first chatbot thank you